Hey guys, this is Mike, and right here we have a computer running the developer preview of Windows 8. So this video uh, is just showing you guys the setup of Windows 8. So I just installed Windows 8, and this is the screen it gave me uh, when the setup, or rather when the installation uh, finished. So this is the setup. And so the first thing it asked me is to, uh, it asked me to read this long license, and then down here I accept it. And then I click accept. Let's go through a few basics. So um, it's going to go uh, through a series of questions for me, a series of settings. So it wants me to name my PC here. So I'm just going to type my name. Well, never mind. My name and then the room, like study. That'll be the name of the PC. And I'll click next. Okay, so uh, now it's asking me if I want to use the express settings or if I want to change the express settings. So uh, right here it shows me uh, exactly what the express settings is, which basically means it's going to set all these um, at a default setting. However, I do have the option to, instead of going with the express settings, I can go through and change all those settings, which I would much rather do. So I'm going to down here click customize. So the first thing it asks me is about automatic update. So I'm going to leave automatic update on, and I'm going to use uh, the Internet Explorer um, safeguards, uh, Internet Explorer smart screen filter. Um, it's basically asking me if I want to use the smart screen filter. Uh, so we'll keep those on. Next, it wants to know if I want to send uh, information to Windows to uh, make everything better. Uh, and Especially since this is a beta version, I'm going to leave that on. And this is uh, Windows error reporting here. It's asking about uh, troubleshooting for Windows error reporting and the Windows uh, Internet Explorer compatibility view. I'll leave all that on. Share information with apps. Uh, let apps give me personalized content based on my name and account picture. Sure. Let apps access my location. Uh, previously, I turned this off. Uh, I installed Windows 8 on another computer first. However, I, I couldn't find a way to turn it back on. And if you turn it off, you won't be able to use the weather app, which I was kind of disappointed about. So I'm just going to leave that on. All right, next it wants to know credentials for logging in. So I'm just going to type in my name for username, a little password here, and a hint. Password. <laughs> I don't really have a hint for my password. All right, and now it says finalizing your settings. And you could already see the uh, Metro UI interface um, just with the setup. So now it's logging me in. And as I was saying, um, this is the Metro UI interface that is loading, uh, very similar to the Windows Phone interface. Um, you're going to see tiles, live tiles on the desktop or rather, uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they officially call it, but uh, the start screen, I guess. Uh, they still have the desktop, which is the standard Windows uh, interface that we're used to seeing in, for example, Windows 7. Uh, the desktop in Windows 8 looks very Windows 7-y. Uh, just a few tweaks, it's not quite Arrow. Um, however, they still call it Arrow, but it, it doesn't look as Arrow as Windows 7 is. Uh, they took away some of the transparency, it looks like. But overall, I really like the Metro interface. I think it's really nice that uh, Windows finally uh, revamped the user interface of their systems because they've been using the desktop interface forever. Um, and it's really time that they revamped things. So the Metro interface, I think they did a great job with porting to uh, the PC. So we'll just see how uh, customers react to it. Um, my only concern is that you lose, or you don't necessarily uh, lose functionality, but you feel like you lose functionality in the PC. Uh, it feels not as usable, if that makes sense. Um, when you have a desktop PC, you know, you, you have advanced tasks that are right at your fingertips. However, with this new Metro experience, uh, you have to do some digging around to get to, for example, the full control panel. 
in order to get to the full control panel uh, with all of your settings and, and everything about your computer, you have to do a few more clicks than you had to do in the standard desktop interface. So, uh, my only concern is that you may feel like the PC isn't as powerful. Uh, however, it still is powerful. They made it so that you don't lose um, any functionality with the Metro interface. So it's loading up now. And first you saw a glimpse of the desktop and then it switched to Metro. Uh, it will regularly boot up to Metro by default. So here we have uh, Metro. So guys, this was just a quick setup video. I'll be making a lot more videos um, about Windows 8 in the future, so uh, stay tuned for those. Uh, I will My next video will be an explanation of all of these applications and what the pre-installed apps do. Um, I'll also make a video about dual monitors, um, how Windows 8 reacts with dual monitors, which is very cool how it handles dual monitors. I'll also make a video about the desktop experience, um, how to switch from Metro to the regular desktop experience, uh, and there will be many more videos that you will definitely want to see. So stick around for those. Make sure to subscribe so you don't lose out on any of that content. I also have a new website uh, that you guys can go to. So <laughs> to show it off, I'll go to the Internet Explorer application, which is full screen here. Uh, it's MikeBed96, which is my YouTube handle, .com. Oh, and I don't have internet. That's wonderful. Oh, I forgot I have to set internet up. But anyways, uh, <laughs> just go to my website, MikeBed96.com. That's my uh, YouTube username. And that'll link you to a bunch of places that you can find me. Actually, three places. You can find me on YouTube. You can also find me on Twitter and Google+. Uh, on Twitter and Google+, I go by my full name, Michael Benarski. Uh, Twitter's actually Mike Benarski, at Mike Benarski. And then Google+, I'm Michael Benarski. A little inconsistency there. Uh, but all the links are at my website, MikeBed96.com. A uh, link will be in the description. And check that out. It's the easiest place. Uh, to find all my videos and to see videos that I recommend to you. So videos that I may not have done, however, I found them online and I think they're really cool videos that you could guys uh, think you guys should check them out. That'll all be posted on my Twitter and Google Plus pages. So there's some great uh, ways to follow me there. Also make sure to subscribe, thumbs up the video if you liked it, comment. Uh, what do you think about this Metro experience? Just leave a comment telling me um, just what are your first impressions? I know I haven't really talked about it yet. I will be making a future video just about Metro. Um, but you know, what are your first impressions? My first impressions are it's really clean and slick looking and it's really time that Windows came out with a major redesign. I think they did a great job porting Metro to the PC. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, let me know.